Your students have probably all seen insta-famous triangles like these. You know the ones? We're guilty of drawing them as teachers all the time. Picture perfect, face always parallel to the ground, right angles. These influencer triangles are so overrepresented that when your students see normal triangles like this, they freak out. I want to show you a puzzle that celebrates triversity and normalizes all triangular body types. It will also help teach your students about the area and height of triangles. And it's called dots and triangles. So keeping with the theme of triangles, this puzzle has three rules. You need to connect three dots which represent the corners of a triangle. And uh, those triangles that you make must all have an area of exactly six square units. And finally, no triangle can share dots with another or overlap. All right, so here's how the puzzles work. For the easier puzzles, most of the triangles represented here have a right angle in them, which makes the height and the base quite easy to measure. So here you might think, oh yeah, we'll join these three, because this makes a six by two triangle. And again, your students should be able to see the rectangle that goes around that triangle has an area of 12 square units. And because the triangle makes up half of that, that triangle will have an area of six. But if we do that, these three dots, are the only three we've got left over. And if you join them, it's got a base of three and a height of two. And that's not going to give us an area of six. So those three don't join there. So maybe we'll start down here by joining these. And this has a base of four or three, depending on which way you look at it. And a height of four or three. So here's the four, here's the three. Four by three is 12, but because it's not a rectangle, this bit's not included. So this has got an area of six square units, so we're all good there. And then these three dots are the only three remaining. So we've got a base of six, a height of two, and for the same reason this will work. So that's a solved puzzle. All dots have been joined in a triangle. None of the triangles overlap. Now as you move on to some harder puzzles, you'll get triangles that aren't necessarily right angled. So here, if we look at this, we've got a three and three, no, that's not gonna work. So we might join here. So this has got a base of six now, and a height of two. Now this is a thing that students always get confused about with triangles, is what is the height? Sometimes if a measurement's given here, they'll represent the height as that. But the height is always measured at 90 degrees to the base. So here, this has got a height of two, a base of six so that works it's got an area of six square units and then this is the leftover three triangles and again this time it's got a height of six and a base of two so there's base of two and a height of six both of those triangles have an area of six square units and you can prove that by duplicating them and making a quadrilateral um, or you can yeah, draw a rectangle around it and prove that that's half of it then when we get to really difficult puzzles the triangles will look like that awkward one I showed you at the start where the apex of the triangle falls outside of the base. So it might look something like this. So there's still a height of that triangle which is measured at 90 degrees to the base, but it's not immediately obvious. So here, if we look around, we've got a four by three. Uh, that looks like it could work. But if we did that there, this triangle here, this dot here wouldn't have anywhere to go. So often when I'm creating these puzzles, I'm trying to bait people into selecting something. Um, but it, this, they, these are designed to be low floor and high ceiling. So that when, when you get to a puzzle like this, even teachers will start to struggle with these because you'll have to logically go through and go, well, if I join this, what's the consequence for the rest of the puzzle? So here, because this dot needs to join to something else, we might have to get it here. Um, so here we go. There's a base of six there. And a height of two down to that dot. So there's one of the triangles. Um, and then we've got a base of four here and a height of two, that's not gonna work. Base of four and a height of three. So here, you've got triangles like this, one, two, three, four, and the height of three, which is measured at 90 degrees to this base, one, two, three. So this triangle here has an area of six square units. And that's not immediately obvious. Um, then what have we got left? Got a base of four and a height of three. So here it looks like you could join these dots here, but again, the consequence for a dot like that, if you join these, means that that won't work anymore. So I feel like this dot here has to go with, say, these. So this has got a base of three, 
and a height of four. Which again, it's a bit tricky to see. Now, if that's the case, I think we've got just a few dots left. So here's got a base of four and a height of three. And these dots have to be left over. So this has got a base of three and a height of four. And this is what a solved puzzle looks like. Now they get even harder than this. And you can download a set of 10 puzzles at thinksquare.com.au slash triangles. If you're looking for more puzzles, you can purchase the full set via the same link, or you can check out the MathsMate Year 7 and 8 textbooks. Every book starts and finishes with a puzzle like this across a wide range of content topics. So mathsmate.net, check them out. Enjoy.